This is Roger with uh, Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2001 GMC Sierra 2500 HD. It has the Duramax diesel motor. It's two-wheel drive. It's a leather SLT model, uh, four-door extra cab. has 134,000 miles. Uh, this is purchased uh, from the dealer auction here in town. Uh, it was a dealer trade-in to uh, Jim Click Ford, I believe. Uh, they can't get any financing for their customers on their used car lot um, with vehicles over 100,000 miles, so they trade them all in. Um, this truck has a few little cosmetic issues, um, really minor. Uh, it has a beautiful set of tires and a brand new spare. Uh, it runs like brand new. Um, we've sold several of these. Uh, we know pretty much within a couple hundred dollars exactly what this thing will bring um, and they're just fantastic trucks I love these things I like them more in two-wheel drive just because I think that they steer better and they feel better when you're driving them but uh, anyway let me walk you around this thing I'll show you what the cosmetic issues are and there are no mechanical issues it's perfect mechanically anyway whoever traded this thing in was a dummy and thought they would get more money for it by putting new tires on it but it's got brand new tires all the way around. Um, the fender flares, uh, they always get on the plastic fender flares that are painted, um, they always get that fading uh, clear coat, which is what that has. I mean, you could actually probably clear coat those real cheap if you wanted to make them look better. Hood looks great. Front bumper looks brand new. Um, again, here's the fading on the see a little bit of mark here I don't know if that's just bad detail or if that's in the clear coat I think it's in the clear coat to be honest with you it's my job to make sure that we represent these trucks in the videos and pictures and text of the ad exactly as they really are uh, as most of our vehicles ship out of state and we want our people uh, all over the country and uh, world we've recently sold to Ecuador and to uh, Germany they, they go all over the place that you get what you pay for um, it's all word of mouth with us there's a scratch here a little touch up paint would be a good idea right here and right here and I did notice it looks like there was some someone put a dent somewhere at some time down here and then they pushed it out from inside it looks like they didn't do too bad a job and really it's not very noticeable Try to get a good angle for you, but it's down so low that you really—it's really not not something you notice. This thing is not a perfect cosmetic truck, is what I'm getting at. Um, it's still a very good-looking truck, but you know, I suppose for uh, being uh, almost 12 years old, actually it is now that they're selling 2013s. There's a little touch-up paint would be good there too, but uh, it's the uh, clear coat fading. Uh, it's still a pretty good looking truck. Long bed, obviously. And whoever was using this truck wasn't too bad with the uh, towing aspect because the bumper only has, has a little ding right here and no real tow hitch damage that I can see. Usually the, that's all, as you people who tow know, most people will bash into their hitch a few dozen times and their tailgates and their Bumpers look like hell by now. Right, there's your spare. That's a brand new spare. See a little ding here and here. Again, a little touch up paint. Actually, like, uh, I don't know, a $10 tube of. Uh, Silver metallic birch, I believe, is the color. I've only bought that a million times before. But I believe that would be the color here. A little silver metallic birch touch-up paint. Uh, and then clear coat the fender uh, skirts, these pieces. Uh, and you would make a huge difference in the looks. And that would be relatively cheap, really. A little scratch right here. Again, touch-up paint. Open up the hood. Actually, I've been getting requests lately for a uh, video under the hood while it's running. 
so you can hear it running under the hood. So I'm trying to do that with everything now. I love Duramax, it's so quiet. Oh my God. Compared to a Dodge. I love my Dodge 5.9s, but uh, they are loud. There you go. Nice and quiet. Show you the roof here. Someone sold a little OnStar antenna. We'll see if we can dig one up here. I think we might have one sitting in my uh, shop. If not, I think they're probably 20 or 30 bucks at the most. That's probably new. I'll bet on eBay they're almost free. Back seat looks perfect. I was told that on the passenger seat there's a tear right here where it's separated on the passenger seat on the other side. Um, we're going to do the videos and pictures with that tear in it, but we're going to lift this piece off and send it out to the upholstery shop and get it done. I'll try to show you in the video what's missing. Alright, window. Mirror works. That mirror works there. Let's see that mirror. That mirror works. Let's see the power seat. Let's see back, forth, up, down. Yes. And this seat looks in really good shape. All right. And by the way. It's early January in Tucson, and it's about to snow in Tucson, Arizona. Yes, it does snow here. Whew. We have a guy picking up a truck from Wisconsin in the office right now, and he's in shock that it's so cold here. He was expecting to come here and be warm. Anyway, there's the tear right there. That's going to be fixed. It just kind of separated the stitching for some reason, separated so we're going to send this out and get it fixed. I won't be there. The arm is okay. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. The heater's going. Old school. It's got a factory cassette player. CD player. Let's make sure the radio works. Obviously, it's missing a knob for the radio right here. Try the air conditioning. Make sure we have some of that. Whew. Let that cool off while we're going through the rest of this. We got uh, cruise, we got tilt, that works. Let's see, we got tow, tow on and off. There's your miles 134, 465. star lights that all works yeah this is a nice truck I don't know why someone would even trade one of these in yeah, unless you really have to have the money to buy your next vehicle this would be a hell of a truck just to have sitting around tow with or whatever uh, let's see if you're gonna come to Tucson to drive this home um, we charge $250 dock fee, which is very 
calm and actually a little bit low for dealers. Um, $250 dock fee and taxes. Taxes are 2% city tax here in Tucson plus uh, whatever your state tax rate is. Um, if you're coming in from, say, Oregon or Alaska where the ta state tax rate is zero, all you're going to pay is our 2% city tax and a $250 dock fee and that's it. Uh, if you're, for instance, an Arizona resident, our state tax rate is 7.1. So you're going to add the 2% city tax to that, so you're going to pay 9.1% tax uh, plus a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you're going to pay is the agreed upon price. Let me jump on it for you here. This thing runs great. Really solid. No vibrations. Straight as an arrow. Uh, I don't even hear, hear any rattles or anything. This is a nice truck. Um, anyhow, so it, yeah, if you ship, if you pay by wire and ship, um, the agreed upon price is all you're going to pay. Uh, once we receive full payment, we put the uh, title, uh, notarized title, in the mail, um, and that's that. Let me start from zero here so you can see it. Shift and everything. Nice, nice rig. Anyhow, uh, please make sure also that you get the deposit in. Uh, even if we have an agreed upon uh, price for the vehicle, we don't have a deal until we have uh, a deposit. Uh, deposit will stop us from selling to somebody else. Um, if we have an agreed upon price and no deposit, somebody else comes in and puts a deposit down or pays in full, they'll get it. Um, that's happening quite a bit now as our site and our business becomes more popular. Um, so just make sure that that doesn't happen to you. It's kind of disappointing for people when that happens. Anyhow, uh, now that I'm done with the video, I got to go grab the camera and try to beat the snow rain situation and get the pictures taken. Uh, be safe. Uh, thanks for watching. And that's all.